Guys, guys, check it out. Follow me. This right here is the final piece of my RC car electronics install for the 1984 Tamiya Grasshopper. But before we begin on placing all the electronics on this 1984 Tamiya Grasshopper, I wanna break down each and every single electronic component that I got, where I got it from, how much I got it from, and where you can find it yourself so you too in the future can rebuild your own Tamiya Grasshopper. Now, let's do this. So I have all the electronics right here on this table that I'm gonna be putting into my Tamiya Grasshopper. Now, I'm not sure if you can find these at your local hobby store. I couldn't at mine. Luckily, Amazon has all of these, so I'll put the links down in the description for all of these items so you too can find what you need online. I'll begin by kind of showing you guys around the Sport Tune motor. Now, this box right here just screams vintage to me. It has this really vintage looking picture of the motor, Japanese and English lettering. On the back here, there's a dyno chart. You can see the solid line is what this motor output gives you, whereas a dotted line is what the old motor, or not the old motor, but the more basic level motor, entry level motor, what that power output looks like. So I think it's pretty cool. This box is awesome. Now with that out of the way, we move on to the Futawa servo. Now this one is essentially the same exact copy of what came in my 1984 Tamiya Grasshopper. So it's gonna be a simple swap. It's gonna fit right in, it's small. Nothing too special about this one. It's gonna fit right into the tub chassis and it's gonna look good. It's brand new, so we're swapping the old for the new. Now this Hobby Wing ESE is a quite popular one, at least on Amazon. There's a lot of reviews, a lot of people purchase these things, but why is that? Well, for one, it has LiPo capability on a brush motor, so that's pretty cool. It's also relatively affordable. It's around $20, at least that's what I picked mine up for. So that's pretty cool to see. It's affordable, cheap, it fits, it's modern. What more could you ask for from an ESC? Now, the last thing that we have here is this FlySky FS GT3C radio and receiver combo. Now this guy here, this is what I've been excited about this whole time. It took about one month to get here with all the shipping times. Anyways, what this guy is gonna be able to do is control all my RC cars as long as I have a receiver that fits the Fly Sky radio control system here. It's gonna be able to control all my RC cars with just this one radio controller. Now that's a good thing because no longer will I have five, six, seven controllers lying around the house. I only need this one guy to control. I believe it's up to 10. So we'll see how this thing works out. I believe it's up to 10 RC cars that I'll be able to control with this thing. So we'll see how it works out. With that out of the way, Let's get started on the build. If you haven't seen parts one and parts two, be sure to go and watch those as well so you know where this thing started off from and how it's gonna look like in the end. Let's get to it. I had to do this off camera, but if you can see here, you can't really tell now with the pinion gear on the new Sport Tune motor, but the shaft for the original motor was a little long. So I had to kind of slide the pinion out a little bit, tighten that little screw in there. So when I put it into the housing, the pinion sits flush on the gearbox there.
So I just connected the servo right there. Motor is in. Unpacked my Hobbywing Quick Run ESC right here. One thing that you'll notice is that there is this blue and yellow wire. My motor has a red and black. Yellow is the positive, goes to the red. Blue is the negative, goes to the black. So I have this kind of wiry mess going on right now. I have a battery plugged in to the ESC, to the motor, and the last step, if you can see here, I have to bind this receiver to the Flysky radio system. So I'll do that right now, and we'll see if this thing comes to life. Big rookie mistake right now. I inserted the throttle to the steering and the steering to the throttle. So when I turned it on, this thing just flew off. As you can see guys, all the electronics are in, all the wiring's in place. I took away all the wires, zip tied them to the body where need be. We have a little bit of clearance on the rear right tire with the motor wires, but so far it should be good. I had a little bit of trouble getting the throttle and reverse to match up correctly. Turns out the wiring up from the motor to the ESC was the wrong way, so it was the opposite way. I had to switch them out. Other than that, the only other battery that we have to kind of test for this RC car with the Tamiya connector is this Traxxas battery. It's pretty big, but it should do for its first time out. 